Hi guys, it's Jamie from PMR. Something a little different, just for a change. Okay, uh, you may have seen the video that I made and uploaded a little while ago, uh, a couple of days ago, in other words, um, and it was David's reel. And it went from, as you can see it now, with this cage, mm -hmm, the original cage, and he decided he wanted a cage, so we put a cage on it, as well as the other conversions that we'd done, and then I kind of got carried away. So this is the finished article and the finished article is using the original orange abu power handle uh, which is off the premium mag leak which this reel is we've got an orange float cap from uh, it's an AKS float cap actually um, we've got the side plates are the premium mag grey side plates I know you're going to say oh there's a few little marks you can see down there this was a cage that I had that had, as you can see, these tiny little marks if you just catch the right right. So I couldn't sell it as a new cage because it had been damaged. But um, for the right price, on the right build, and David's a very happy man, let's put it that way, and it is a silver AKS one-piece cage that you cannot get for love nor money. Now, <coughs> pardon me, on this side, mm -hmm, yeah, a custom Fisherman's Mark III well, we'll just call this a one-off custom fishing mag because it is a one-off custom. Never done anything like this before. And I've used these uh, little black knobs that I managed to get hold of about ooh, two years ago. I've just had them sitting there and I think I've used two maybe out of what I've got. But it just works with this. Does it work so well? So nice. And these are aluminium 40mm knobs. Uh, with the uh, orange AKS float cap so you've got a float on both sides and also if you can see there if I do that, you can see I've even done a custom one-off stainless steel mag depth indicator and of course we have the crown screws 316 marine grade stainless steel now getting to be world famous crown screws there are cheap copies out there but they ain't PMR that's all I'm gonna say to that now, inside this thing, well, I started off building this for David and I kind of got carried away, so I'm just going to tell you straight away that I ended up making him a rough ground sport. So there you go, two 5mm by 8mm M50 rear earth magnets that will stop the space shuttle. It has a fine tune bronze. Not brass, it's bronze. It's got a an orange 656 Accios lightened balance spool and look at that I've managed to get a six pin Abbey brake in there and it's not going to focus is it there you go a six pin Abbey brake which I'm now going to have to put those back in to put back in because I have actually activated three of the blocks for David so it is basically going to fish pretty much straight out of the box all he's got to do is put some line on it now before I go I'm going to quickly put this back together and I'm going to show you what a rough ground sport when it's made like this with a fisherman's centre mag I have to say this really I might have to do another one like this this is the first time I've done an expensive reel like this with this kind of fisherman's mag fisherman's mag's always been a budget version but that's the version on the Bay of Evil which looks nothing like this and has a standard mag in it right a quick version of this it's going to go, and 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 it's still going to go, even though it's got that massive, great magnets in it. It will spin for about 20 or 30 seconds, which is enough for you guys to commit absolute cast aside. If you think, on a casting court, 10 second start-up time, I mean, Mr. Kinnear Jr., Brad, I think he had a 14 second start up time on one reel and he blew it up so badly it was ridiculous. Okay, so mag all the way in. It's going absolutely nowhere. 
you've got total control. There you go, the first one of its kind, ever. I'm Jamie, thank you for watching PMR Pimp My Reel. We'll see you next time.